Regularly scheduled programming will not be seen at this time. Please stay tuned for the following 13 WAM television specials. Welcome to St. John Fisher College. Buffalo go. Bills training camp continues. We are here at St. John Fisher. Take a look at the crowd. Typical for a night practice here at Fisher. Bills players just taking to the field. Gee, amazing. T.O. Chance just as we get started. Good evening again and welcome to St. John Fisher. I'm Mike Catalano, sports director of 13 Wham TV. Over the next 30 minutes, with the Bills practice going on behind us, we're going to talk about this franchise, where they are now, and where they are headed in 2009. To help me do that tonight, some of the best in the business. Our experts are with us tonight from the Democrat and Chronicle, Bills beat writer for a long time. History of the Bills, Relentless is his book, Sal Marano. Welcome to the show. Well, thanks for having me, Mike. Good to have you here, Sal, the host of the John DiTullio Show <laughs> on Sports Radio 1280 and sports director of WHAM Radio. John DiTullio, thanks for being with us. Partner's good to be here, buddy. All it's right, an and of here. course, from 13 Wham Sports, sports anchor, reporter, the pride of Batavia, New York, <laughs> Chuck Way. What do you got working over there, Chuck? Well, we're live blogging during the show tonight, Mike, on 13wham.com. Be answering your questions, and, well, I'd like to react to what these guys have to say. You can see it right now, a live picture of 13wham.com and what's happening on the blog, just playing along with the introductions. Feel free to join in. We'll answer your questions a little later in the show. All right, Chuck, you know, one of the things we know the fans are going to be talking about is the guy everybody's talking about, and you can hear some of the fans talking about now. We're talking about the T.O. show. That's what everybody has been talking about here. Well, since he arrived at his first practice, Owens has done everything, really, this franchise could have wanted him to do. Autographs? Well, just have a pen and be ready, and he'll come over and sign. A bunch of people have been doing that, getting a chance. This has been going on just about daily. In fact, the first weekend, he signed after both the early and late sessions. He signed again Monday. They scream his name every time he touches the ball. Owen says, that's life as T.O. That's, that's nothing do, new to me, you know. Uh, maybe new to you guys, but guys, I've been in the San Francisco market, Dallas, Philly. So this is here. This is a walk in the park. Anything that I can do to kind of, you know, keep the fans into it and, uh, you know, let them know that, um, that I am thankful for him, and you know I recognize him. I hear him out here. Uh, he hears the fans. All right, so we've been watching it since we've been out here. We're going to ask the question: What do you think of the T.O. show so far? We'll start with you, Sal. Well, you know, Mike, we we knew he was a Hollywood diva. There's no question about that. But what's impressed me about T.O. is he's come to Buffalo and he's made an instant impression with the fans. And I, I, the other day, I, I mentioned this in one of my tweets <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> We're standing on the sidelines, and they've just finished up a drill. Or actually, he, his role in the drill had just finished, but they were still working. And he just kind of wandered over to the, um, the kids' tent over by the grass field and just started high-fiving kids. And those kids are going to have a story to tell yeah. for the rest of their lives. The T.O. came over during practice and gave him a high-five. He, he knows yeah. what to do. You know, John, he just knows yeah. how to operate. He knows sure. how to play to the crowd. 14 years in the league. and he, 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 So far, so good. Again, they haven't lost any games yet, no. and he hasn't been avoided in the passing game yet, but right now I think it's been a, it's been a big hit here he in Buffalo. He brought Hollywood and glamour to Western New York. We've been a doormat here for almost 10 years. Now we, there is a buzz. There is someone now that we can focus on. Let's face it, we haven't had a buzz since they got here in 2000 and when Bledsoe arrived in 02. So it's been basically seven years since we've had somebody kind of stir the pot, and he's brought a lot of excitement so far. He's been on his best behavior, and I'm loving it. All right, let's go to the next part of T.O., because when you bring in T.O., it's not just the show. There is certainly the possibility of T.O. being a distraction. Right. All right? Has he been at all, and do you worry about that? No, you guys just mentioned, you know, went about the passing game. Do you worry about it at all? No, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's way too early to tell, Mike. I mean, in training camp, they're just working things out. There's Nothing's on the line here. No bullets are flying. But I think... We've said it all along since he signed. I think he'll be on his best behavior. I just don't see him coming in on a one-year contract and stirring things up because we all know 
He's not going to end his career in Buffalo. He's Chuck, trying to get the next yeah. big deal. You know, Chuck, you've been out here, too, for practice. You know what the fans are thinking, too. There are people that are worried that that's what's going to happen next. Yeah, absolutely. It's, and they're right to think that. It's happened everywhere. Philly, Dallas, San Francisco, you name it. But, hey, he's playing for that one final contract. At least that's what we think. So, hey, here's hoping he's on his best behavior. But we're still how far from the first game? Who knows? Yeah. Well, the other issue, too, and we've kind of alluded to it, is not just the fact of what he is as a show, not just the fact of what he can cause as a problem off the field, but how about Terrell Owens in the Buffalo Bills offense? John, what do you think? Well, I love it. I mean, listen, um, I think, you know, we've been screaming they need a number two. Well, better, to, they got a number one. So really, they got two number ones. He opens up the field for Lee Evans. He is certainly going to help uh, uh, with Trent Edwards. I think it's just outstanding that he's here. He's going to make Lee Evans better. Let's hope he makes Trent Edwards better. He has incredible uh, uh, you know, 14 years in the league and a lot of speed for this football team. And so what? Let him. We're only leasing him for a year. We're not buying him for a year. Let him be a distraction. Who cares? They haven't been in the playoffs in 10 years. If, if you're the Steelers, if you're New England, the Colts, you're worried about distractions. When you're the Bills, you want distractions. <laughs> hey, Jim you do. Kelly. Jim Kelly said it best about yeah. a month ago. He said, "Why not let this guy come in and stir things Why up? Why not? This locker room has been dead for ten years. They need some controversy. Some somebody to stir the embers stir it a up." Bit. All right, we got things stirred up here. You guys are ready to go. I'm ready to go. Partner. Now, now we have talked about Sal's tweets, but he's not the only one that tweets. Uh, to tweets too. In fact, <laughs> he put something on his Twitter page today. He's talking about what's going on with the fans and this is what he said from this afternoon. He was about to take his nap, so I know you were following yeah, this. Yeah, I saw this. And then he <laughs> said he's excited that the T.O. Tweeters section will be here tonight. It is a section up in the top right corner of the stands here at St. John Fisher and they are tweeting along with one Mr. T.O. When we come back, T.O. is not the only person in this offense. We're going to talk about the quarterback. Can Trent Edwards get it done? We're back live here at St. John Fisher on our Bills Camping with the Bills special. Buffalo Bills football on 13 Wham TV is brought to you in part by Dorschel.com, Arrowhawk Smoke Shop, and your local Toyota dealer. At Arrowhawk, we understand that fuel prices are taking a bite out of everyone. So whether you're taking your favorite toy out for a ride or you're in a family van, you want the cheapest and cleanest fuel possible. With today's prices, you also want to get what you pay for. So at Arrowhawk, we make sure you get a clean burning fuel at the lowest price possible. Plus, we calibrate our dispensers monthly. So when you buy a gallon of gas, you get a gallon of gas. So come to Arrowhawk Smoke Shop and Gas Mart and get what you pay for. Arrowhawk Smoke Shop and Gas Mart on the reservation in Basem. Well, folks, it may be getting hot this summer, but let me tell you what, it doesn't get much cooler than this guy right here. Hey, Tom Park here if you sell Hyundai. Right here on West Ridge Road. That's right. See, they love us. And the reason they love us is you can drive off a brand new Elantra right now on West Ridge Road. New Elantra Touring for $14.5 or just $2.39 a month. Remember, 2010s are coming in, 09s have to go, and if you're looking to save money, wait no longer. Get to Fusillo Hyundai right here on West Ridge Road. It's huge. Friendly's announces three new $9.99 Create Your Own Friendly's Meals. Apple Walnut Chicken Salad, Buffalo Blue Burger, and Cheeseburger Club. An entire meal, drink, and dessert, all just $9.99. I want to go to Friendly's. Everyone, from the president on down, is committed to making cars the most successful event in automotive history. The Volkswagen Jetta TDI is one of the greenest cars in the world, listing for $23,169. Qualified buyers can purchase it for under $18,000. Most customers will qualify for $2,700 more in federal tax benefits. Now your effective cost could be under $15,000. This is the best time ever to get a new car and trust the Dorschel difference. It's the three-day sale this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mount Morris Furniture. Welcome back to our Camping with the Bills special live here at St. John Fisher. We continue talking about the offense and talking about the quarterback, Trent Edwards. He comes into this camp very optimistic about what this team can do. Oh, the expectations are, are sky high right now. I don't see why uh, we can't be playing deep into January and into February. That's the goal right now, and that's what we're preparing to do. And, I mean, like you said, it's, it's optimism is at its high right now, and I feel like 
uh, that can carry us on into the season. All right, so Trent Edwards is optimistic. Chuck, what do you think? First of all, how good do you think he is now? How good do you think he's going to be? I think he's a good quarterback. I think he's a smart guy. But until he plays a 16-game season for this team, the answer is we don't know. He's got to stay healthy. Last year was an MVP candidate before he got lit up by Adrian Wilson in the Cardinals game. And then he kind of went the tank the rest of the season. Got to stay healthy, bottom line. Uh, where do you find him in the NFL? If you're rating quarterbacks, Middle of the right? pack. Middle, Middle of the pack. pack. I think this is a big year. It's third year. And listen... Everyone wall the offense, and listen, he's got Evans, he's got uh, T.O., he's got three really good running backs. This is it. He's a smart quarterback, but he's brittle. I mean, this is it. Step up, third year, get it done. Yep. The Bills are desperate, the fans are, to put their arms around a starting quarterback. Let's hope number five must have a big year yeah. for this team to do anything. All right, but Edwards can't do anything in this offense unless he gets help from the offensive line. Sal, it is a yearly question. What are they going to do with the offensive line? This year, it's basically five guys in different positions, except really for Walker moving there last year when Peters wasn't here. Yeah, you know, yesterday, Ross Tucker, ex-Bill, was in, was in town. Yeah. And I, I pulled him aside and I said, have you ever seen a team in the NFL that's taken on a project like this where all five guys on the line are playing different positions that they didn't play <laughs> for this team last year? And he said, no, it's got to be unprecedented. Yeah. So, and the thing is, guys, this isn't Anthony Munoz <laughs> and, and, you know, a bunch of Hall of Famers trying to pull this off. These are three average veterans, yeah. and then maybe two rookies are going to win starting jobs. So I think it's going to be a brutally hard task, and come September 14th in New England, yeah. when you're facing Seymour, Will Ford, yeah. Warren, yeah. oh my goodness. Well, John, let's move into the next part of it, which would be the running game. Uh, Can this, they run the ball? And if well, Lynch is out the first three games? Uh, I, you know what? W with Fred Jackson, we saw them at the end of the year in that New England game with Fred Jackson handling the bulk of the carries. Yeah, they can run the football with him as they're running back with Rhodes backing him up. But Sal's right. They've got this makeshift of an offensive line. The only thing we know is that they're all pretty smart. And they're all pretty smart guys. They're smart in the classroom. Now can they come together and gel, which we know it takes time for any offensive line to do. We'll find out pretty quickly opening day against the Wings. Yeah, and you guys expect these rookies to play? Do you expect both yeah. to start? Yeah, well, you know what? They've, they've said all along. They've been no secret. They wanted Wood here as quick as possible. They got Levitri in, too. And they want those guys to be the starters. You know, McKinney and Chambers are two veteran guys, but yeah. there's not a whole lot yeah. there, Mike. And you know, those guys are journeymen at best. So they want to get these kids going right away, get them ingrained with those three guys who are already there, and just go with it. But, boy, it's, it's just an awful lot to ask for two rookies to step in like that. I got that. a feeling by midseason, we're going to look at the strength of the offensive line is going to be the interior. I think it's going to be Levitri, Wood, and Handgardner. I really think that's going to yeah. be eventually the strength of this offensive line. Well, we're talking offense. We've got to move to the defense. When we come back, how's this defense going to be? And what kind of help are they going to get on that defensive line for this year? We'll talk about the defense when we come back here at St. John Fish. Things are really hopping here during the City Mattress Summer Clearance. With savings up to 50% off, customers are taking home great values on top name mattresses, adjustable beds, bedroom furniture, and more. The Summer Clearance through Tuesday, only at City Mattress. Ending Saturday at 5 p.m. Vision Hyundai Henrietta were this close to Dublin last year's Vision 1000 sales. To set an all-time sales record, we'll do everything in our power to give you the deal of a lifetime. With Vision Ultimate Advantage that includes lifetime oil changes. No payments till November. Plus a large sale of first pizza free with a test drive. Year supply when you buy. The clock is ticking, so come in now. The Vision 1000 clearances. Ending Saturday. Rush to Vision Hyundai Henrietta today. At Arrowhawk, we understand that fuel prices are taking a bite out of everyone. So whether you're taking your favorite toy out for a ride or you're in a family van, you want the cheapest and cleanest fuel possible. With today's prices, you also want to get what you pay for. So at Arrowhawk, we make sure you get a clean burning fuel at the lowest price possible. Plus, we calibrate our dispensers monthly. So when you buy a gallon of gas, you get a gallon of gas. So come to Arrowhawk Smoke Shop and Gas Mart and get what you pay for. Arrowhawk Smoke Shop and Gas Mart on the reservation in Basem. Everyone, from the president on down, is committed to making cars the most successful event in automotive history. The Volkswagen Jetta TDI is one of the greenest cars in the world, listing for $23,169. Qualified buyers can purchase it for under $18,000. Most customers will qualify for $2,700 more in federal tax benefits. Now your effective cost could be under $15,000. This is the best time ever to get a new car and trust the Dorschel difference. 
Things are really hopping here during the City Mattress Summer Clearance. With savings up to 50% off and mattresses starting at $169 Sorry, each piece. This. Oh. this is one sale you can't afford to miss. The Summer Clearance through Tuesday, only at City Mattress. Welcome back to St. John Fisher, our Camping with the Bills special tonight. Uh, all the draft picks are here except the number one guy. Aaron Maven of Penn State doesn't have a deal. How much time before this becomes a problem? Let's go with the Penn State apologist himself. Tell us about Aaron Maven. When's he going to be here? That's, that's OTAs, John. Listen, I think uh, it's not predicated on what Tyson Jacks or Aaron Curry. I really think he comes in once B.J. Raji signs, who was picked, what, ninth by the Packers. He's the first defensive guy picked ahead of Maven. I think once Raji signs, then Maven, and more importantly his agent, can gauge what Maven's going to earn. All, right. All joking aside, you're a Penn State grad. You know that team. Yeah. You watched him more than anybody. Is he going to help this team? Absolutely. The guy's got one of those endless motors. He came to Penn State around 205. He just kept putting weight on and kept putting weight on. He's great off the edge. He cannot play the run very well, but he <laughs> rushes the passer from both sides of the football. You can line him up or he can go into a three-point yeah. stance. He's All dominant. Right. Speaking of pass rushers, the president of the Aaron Schobel <laughs> fan club is here, Sal Mayeron. And I know you know Aaron Schobel is a good football player. Yeah. He's been a Pro Bowl player, and then he was injured last year. Where do you see Schobel this year? All right, well, you know, obviously, I I'm not a Schobel fan. But he is a productive player, and they missed him last year. He missed two-thirds of the year with the foot injury, and their pass rush was horrible all season. Yep. That being said, he is supposed to be their premier player on defense. I had Perry Fuel just tell me the other day they want to design this defense to make him the premier playmaker. Name me out of the 70 right. sacks he has in his career, <laughs> name me five that changed a game or won a game. He just makes a lot of plays yeah. that just don't seem to make a whole lot of difference, unlike a guy like, say, Bruce Smith or yeah. one of those premier pass yeah. rushers. Who's going in the Hall of Fame. Well, yeah. I get that, but he, he needs to do more from a game-changing yeah. basis to be the guy that they need him to be. All right. Chuck's over there. He's been working yep. on our blog. And what kind of comments are you getting so far? Well, other than people loving to see Sal and talk about they his Twitter. I appreciate guy. Sal not wearing pants tonight, as do <laughs> the rest of us. Um, from Karen, how's Marcus Stroud so far? Got back on the field tonight, or yesterday, after he tweaked a hamstring. He's doing okay. People asking about Aaron Maven, when he's going to be back. Saturday marks a week. And how has Ryan Fitzpatrick looked Ooh. at backup quarterback? I can't tell you. I haven't watched him. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> who cares? Back. I will tell you this. One thing to keep in mind, Trent Edwards at the beginning of camp last year, now granted he was, a, you know, back for his rookie as a rookie, was atrocious in the beginning of camp. He was. And everybody yeah. was thinking, wow, what is with this kid? And he eventually ended up being their starting quarterback, and now he, he is their starting. I've kept an eye on Fitzpatrick yeah. at number 14. A couple of nice passes during yesterday's afternoon practice to Felton Huggins. So he's looked, he's yeah. looked Okay. He's going to be, I mean, if he has to play for this team, yeah. he'll be serviceable. Oh, he right. played for the Bengals from a the little Bengals, bit. But, you know, you know, I don't want that karma. I just John don't like the karma point. that he when they, brings. When they made this signing, nobody understood because yeah. Yeah. this guy has actually played less than Trent Edwards yeah. in the league. Yeah. yeah. So why would you go for a backup quarter? Get a guy in here who's a veteran who could have helped Trent get through some of the bumps and bruises. Ooh. And then if he has to play, he can play. I got the guy. Stop. JP lost. Yeah, there we go. We missed out on him. All right. Now, why didn't they get a veteran guy? I don't know. Maybe there was they... a couple guys available too. I think a Brian Greasy's still out there. You got yeah. that's a guy I give a look to. And don't I'll say give a Michael Vick. I'm Michael Vick. Don't no. say Michael. I know Vick. I said Karma, but Kitten was a guy that they targeted yeah. in terms of a deal. And whoever dropped the paperwork on that, I think Kitten would have been a good fit here yeah, as well. I agree. Yeah, I agree. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the head coach, Dick Duran. How hot? is the hot seat on the head coach. We'll be back live here at St. John Fisher. Introducing Applebee's new Pick and Pair Lunch Menu, featuring our all-new Real Sliders. Give your taste buds a little TLC with our Real French Dip or Crispy Southern Chicken, plus over 75 other combinations starting at just $5.99. Pick and Pair, it's a whole new neighborhood. Everyone, from the president on down, is committed to making cars the most successful event in automotive history. Here's an unbelievable offer on a Kia Rio. It lists for $12,240. Qualified buyers can purchase it for under $5,000. I said purchase this car for under $5,000. Most customers will qualify for an additional $800 in federal tax benefits. This just has to be the best time ever to get a new car and trust the Dorschel difference. Good friends, great times. 
Whatever you're planning, put Lisa on the top of your list. Lisa's Liquor Barn. The party starts right here. The savings are spectacular during the half-off sale at Value City Furniture. We've slashed prices on select items for a limited time only, so don't wait. Enjoy this microfiber sofa for only $3.99 and save over half. Choose from a wide assortment of queen beds, starting at just $1.99. Five-piece solid wood dinettes by American Signature for only $2.49. And your choice of these attractive bar stools and Parsons chairs, just $39 each. Plus, enjoy no payments or interest for 12 months. Now, during the amazing half-off sale at Value City Furniture. Stay cool with the 13 weeks of summer. Guess how many 90-degree days Rochester will get? And you can win a free Amana air conditioner with installation from John Bethlehem Heating and Cooling. Place your bets at 13weeksofsummer.com today. Applebee's 2 for 20. It's refreshed and ready for summer. Choose one appetizer and two entrees for just 20 bucks. 2 for 20. It's real food at the right price and it's only at Applebee's. It's a whole new neighborhood. Yeah, but what is what? Welcome back to St. John Fisher. The Bills' defense on the field. Dante Whitner, one of the team's captains, kind of reiterated, Sal, his guarantee into the playoffs. Didn't use the word guarantee. They should have made it last year. Come on, it's 6-2. and two. That was their year. 4-0, 5-1, 6-2, and then the meltdown. Yeah. Dante was very adamant last year. that They had the team to do it. I talked to him probably in the middle of May at one of the OTAs, and he said, I'm not going to say anything out loud, but I feel the same way. So, well, good for him. Should, right? Good for him. They're 0-0, yeah. zero and, zero, and why not feel that way? But, guys, the schedule is so much harder this year. Yes. And I just don't think with this offensive line and Trent Edwards still trying to find his way and this defense not making sacks and turnovers, yeah. It's going to be awful tough, uh, awful well, tough road. You mentioned Schobel about making plays. Whitner has to make some plays. His yeah. play has diminished since his rookie year. One sack last year, one tackle for loss, no interceptions. Completely unacceptable from the eighth overall pick just a few years ago. He needs to make plays, Mike. All right, Chuck's been on. Yep. Again, live blogging here. I wanted to talk about the coach, Dick Duran. I don't know if anybody's asking about it, but fans always ask about him. First of all, surprised he's back and then yeah. the hot seat for him this year well, absolutely he's on the hot seat after three seasons of seven and nine should he be on the hot seat I, honestly i didn't think he should have come back i was surprised when he did but we have him for another year and with to in the mix he's got no excuse to not make the playoffs this year is it one year john i mean well, we thought after last year listen they're not going to win a division but i think if they i think they've got to have a winning record i think nine and seven and be in the hunt for the wild card in late December brings Dick buys Dick Geron one think more year. Win nine games. They have to for him to get his job oh, back. Do you think they will? I got a <laughs> feeling they're gonna win nine games. No way. All right, so I think they will. that's where I was gonna go to next prediction. So John's got him at. Well, they're not going winless in the division. They'll beat the Jets at least once, yep. if not the Dolphins once. I think they win nine football games this year. Get out of the gate fast. Hit a little speed bump. Finish strong. Nine and seven. Get out of the gate fast. Post New England. I think day. they beat. They come home and they should beat. Tampa Bay, and I think yeah. they beat San Diego here at home. All right, Sal. We're in New Orleans this year. Where do you have them? I'm keeping with the symmetry of the seven and nine. Ah, yes. I don't see them winning more than seven games against that schedule yeah. this year. I don't see more than seven or nine. And if they bring him back again, then what? I mean, yeah. you might as well just cancel your season tickets. No. <laughs> if they bring him back after four seven and nines, there's no hope they for this won't. team. All right, Chuck. What's your number? Well, you're right, Sal. Why would you pick anything other than seven and nine? <laughs> no, no, seriously. Add seven and nine's a good season for add them this up. year. <laughs> Look at it and add them up. It's Realistically, I think five what? games, but I think I have to well, say seven and nine. I, I think for the first time in about six, five or six years, since 04, they've actually got depth. They're starting to develop depth on this football team. The talent level's at its best in five years. You've got T.O. Fever, don't have you? Have you seen the offensive line? Maybe I do. Well, Edwards has got to have a year yeah. like no other. He's got a camouflage at offensive line. I think Owens and Evans and the no yeah. huddle will do that early yeah. in the year. I'll give them eight, just right. to be different than you guys. Anything quickly on the blogs, anything you want to talk about? Uh, eight and eight. I think they're lucky to be 500, and a lot of people really enjoy your leg sale. <laughs> <laughs> the highlight of the show, Twitters and legs. Hey, we're going to have to get out of here. As we leave you, we want to thank our esteemed panel, <laughs> Sal Mayorana, John DiTulio, Chuck Wadey works with us every day. That's all we can say. For our entire team, I'm Mike Catalana. Thanks for watching. We'll have more tonight at 11 o'clock.
Things are really hopping here during the City Mattress Summer Clearance. With savings up to 50% off, customers are taking home great values on top name mattresses, adjustable beds, bedroom furniture, and more. The Summer Clearance through Tuesday, only at City Mattress. Well, folks, it may be getting hot this summer, but let me tell you what, it doesn't get much cooler than this guy right here. Hey, Tom Park here if you sell a Hyundai, right here on you West Ridge Road. Best. That's right. See, the they love us. And the reason they love us is you can drive off a brand new Elantra right now on West Ridge Road, new Elantra Touring for $14.5 or just $2.39 a month. Remember, 2010s are coming in, 09s have to go, and if you're looking to save money, wait no longer. Get to Fusillo Hyundai right here on West Ridge Road. It's huge. The savings are spectacular during the half-off sale at Value City Furniture. We've slashed prices on select items for a limited time only, so don't wait. Enjoy this microfiber sofa for only $3.99 and save over half. Choose from a wide assortment of queen beds, starting at just $1.99. Five-piece solid wood dinettes by American Signature for only $2.49. And your choice of these attractive bar stools and Parsons chairs, just $39 each. Plus, enjoy no payments or interest for 12 months. Now, during the amazing half-off sale at Value City Furniture. Everyone, from the president on down, is committed to making cars the most successful event in automotive history. The Volkswagen Jetta TDI is one of the greenest cars in the world, listing for $23,169. Qualified buyers can purchase it for under $18,000. Most customers will qualify for $2,700 more in federal tax benefits. Now your effective cost could be under $15,000. This is the best time ever to get a new car and trust the dorsal difference. Things are really hopping here during the City Mattress Summer Clearance. With savings up to 50% off and mattresses starting at $169 each piece. This. Oh. this is one sale you can't afford to miss. The Summer Clearance through Tuesday, only at City Mattress. For you here on TV 13. Yeah, look at that. That's the VIP section tonight. It's VIP night, the Channel 13 tent tonight. The fans sitting there watching practice this evening and getting a chance to see the Bills tonight. All right, I already thanked you guys. So there's not much more I can say. But what I want to ask you about is Owens. Everybody thinks he's going to be good this year. Any chance he's back next year, John? Uh, I wouldn't rule it out. Probably not. I think he's playing for a two- or three-year contract extension. The odds are completely against it, unless he likes being a big fish in a small pond. Sal? If we have a real mild November and December, <laughs> yeah. maybe you'll consider it, but unlikely. All right. Chuck, you think he's back? The eggs are in the basket. One year. Big bowl of popcorn for this year. All right. <laughs> now I promise. Now we are done. Yeah. Thanks again to our group. <laughs> Thanks for all of you for watching. We'll see you tonight again at 11. Thirteen Wham News on your iPhone. Get the app at 13wham.com.